you start with? Orange. Ooh. Now, orange but there's some brown. alternatives. Yeah, right. Brown was going to be the one I was going to mention. Yeah. Um, it, it typically, like, yellow doesn't base coat very well. In fact, it, it doesn't base coat well at all. Yeah. Uh, so you typically want to use something underneath that base coats a lot better. So, like, there's a couple of different options that you've got. You could do, like, rucksack tan, uh, which has a pretty good pretty good coverage, and then you can build up the, like, oranges and yellows on top of that. Um, or you could do, like, Blood Tracker Brown, which is, like, a nice orangey brown. Uh, or you can go... I don't have the right color with me. So we're going to try and make this work anyways. Um, bu -bum, bu -bum, bu -bum. I think one of the things that was interesting that was kind of like a level up for me when I was painting what oh, I like actually now in this angle, you can see like his little bum. Yeah. <laughs> it is like painted. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, quick, quick this bum is, aside on the gremlin. Bloodstone, by the way, is what we're, what we're starting with here. Bloodstone orange. Nice. Um, but I was going to say, yeah, one of the kind of things that uh, helped me kind of level up my painting was when you first start, you just kind of go, oh, I'm painting yellow, so I'm just going to put a darker yellow as my base coat, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm painting white. I'm just going to take and just start putting on layers of white. Uh, and, it, and one of those level up things was realizing that a lot of those colors, especially like those uh, lighter tones like the whites and the yellows or the very light blues or very light reds or oranges, things like that, you don't necessarily base coat with that same color. You might base coat with something that sounds bonkers, right? And you get totally different things, like much colder whites if you base coat with blues, things like that, right? Yeah, so like this is going to end up being like a really dirty yellow, mm -hmm. but um, it, it will still look yellow at the end of the day. Well, and Jordan, you, you were mentioning um, a couple weeks ago about doing this type of painting when you're using multiple colors to achieve the effect of the actual color that you're trying to paint may not have a whole lot of paint on the shield. That was really poorly worded, but right, you yeah, start with so, brown, you might so have a mid orange be, yellow, but mm -hmm. yeah, there's not actually going to be a whole lot of yellow on this. Like there, there will be yellow on this. There's just not going to be a lot of it. Um, and let's see here. Let's get some, some brown. So that was, Blood Tracker. We're going to get some Umbral Umber real quick in here to do like a deep shade. Uh, Riker's Iron in Twitch chat says that uh, he typically uses Beast Hide or Moldy Ochre. Do you find that you get yes. results out of that as well? Yep. 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 Those are all Boom. Good. Uh, Beast Hide is, is a little um, a little on the like desaturated side for me. Like I, I typically like to keep it a little bit more colorful. Uh, but it, it, it'll work. Like it, it definitely hits, fits the bill, as it were. Um, but I tend to to prefer using uh, less less or more saturated colors when I'm working with yellow. Um, although moldy ochre is a pretty desaturated yellow, but I like it a lot. It's a, it's a really good color. Would you? Um, um, I would think that moldy ochre is good for base coats too, because it's got. Uh Got it's, some of that white mixed in, so it's, it's got okay. better coverage. It's okay. It's still one of those, like, really bright colors, so it doesn't typically, like, blend quite a, or it doesn't base coat nearly as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to mix some of that moldy ochre into the, uh, the bloodstone, though, and we're going to start. Yeah, what's, what are, what's our color palette here? What's our, what's our Jordan thumb? So. Got the bloodstone. We're getting yeah, some moldy we ochre. Some we got some moldy ochre. We got the, the pinks that I was working with earlier. Um, and then a couple of colors from a project that I was working on for for work here Ooh. Um, a little bit before, which you guys might get to see a little bit later, Ooh. depending on how well the C facts go. Yeah, so if they like, crushed it, we'll have to they get to the third, we'll get to the third cats, question yeah. here in a little bit. Once we kind of get past this yellow, maybe we'll be at a good spot to hit up question three in our C facts. Uh, we got a question in Facebook. I'm going to try and work our way through this because it's a, it's, a, it's a novel here from Martin Granger. So first off, um, Martin would like uh, us to uh, get o be okay to get, uh, for a free, either for this or a future get your paint on, 
uh, an in-depth look at painting technique with washes and inks because they would like to understand more about the technique and how to use it better. Yeah. So with washes, when watering down the paint, if you would like lose the pigments of the paint, for example, like if you're if you're creating a wash, how does that affect the pigmentation? I suppose is maybe the question being asked there, right? And how do you how do you handle that? I hope I'm representing that question correctly. Sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Martin, if you have uh, if you have more specifics, um, then maybe Jordan can answer them here today. Yeah. Um, but also, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, Private yes. Press Prime. Yeah, there's a on lot YouTube of really good resources there. and go to the uh, uh, Formula P3 Presents mm -hmm. playlist, and we have like 70 plus yes. videos on painting, um, and a lot of those include how to do uh, washes and glazes. Mm -hmm. Good call. Hey, nice, nice deep cut. Yeah, high five. And, and by deep cut, I mean using the resources that we <laughs> produce on a regular basis. <laughs> but uh, but having said that, like I don't want to just send yeah. you into into a. a uh, a deep hole. A of deep YouTube. hole of of YouTube videos. Um, so if you have a specific question for for Jordan, otherwise it's it's kind of a big topic to cover. It is definitely a, a big topic. Uh, but I definitely think one is, that I would like to go into at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think some I'm people sure. have some questions, by the way, about how you are doing your blending there where you have the very some very dark tones and some very bright tones on the shield. Yeah, and they're so, wondering kind of I what mean, the colors. Whether the blend is and when, from what to what. So, so basically, a lot of this is just um, the the base bloodstone, right? That we put in as as the base coat, and that kind of just builds the foundation of of the shield. And then I put in a little bit of a shade in that umbral umber, and I did it on the underside where the shadow would get caught, right? And I'm I'm creating kind of three different segments. I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's three different segments to the shield. There's this right-hand side here, which has this kind of harsh line where this bends out over to this side. And this is the middle segment here is a, a separate segment. And then we've got this third segment here, which is the the left-hand side. There we go. Yeah. And I can re re So there, here, and then the last one on this side. Um, and basically creating a highlight side and a shadow side and a highlight side and a shadow side and a highlight side and a shadow side for each individual element. And because the shield is slightly canted upward, you're going to get more highlights on this side and much more on this side because it's further out than you will it's gonna on It's going to be the part catching the light segment, as it right. were. This third segment's gonna be a lot darker than this segment up here and this segment right here, because this is gonna catch most of the light. <clears throat> um, so it's a lot of just like light placement, but your highlights are all gonna be in that yellow. So that's gonna be what makes the shield look yellow when it's done. Um, and I gotta get some more bloodstone on here. Also, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna butcher your name. I'm gonna go with Mel Melimony. Melimony? Or Melimony? Yep. Melimony is definitely uh, more. It's more fun to say. It rolls yeah. off the tongue. Welcome for the, the 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 raid coming from your stream. Coming to join us, paint some models. Ooh, look at that! Boop, boop. And it's like a it's like an adorable little. What is it? Is it is it a lemon? It's a smile. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, good call. Melimony. Yes, oh yeah. So it would be lemony. The lemon. All right. Cr well, we got that the first go. Yeah. Crushing it. We know what's up. Yeah. Clearly. Hi we are, everyone. Thanks we are for joining. And cool. Yeah. All right. Let's do another C fact. Yeah. C fact. C fact. All right. Hold on. I gotta get oh, to shit. the. I, I gotta get my to paper the thing. too. Okay. And C fact. Okay. C fact. All right. So our third and final C fact. Remember, chat. Hit us up if you think you know the answer. We need to get people need to be getting this answer correct so we can show off Jordan's little surprise it, at the end of the stream. Yeah. It'd be very disappointing if you made no effort uh, and we didn't get to show you what Jordan's got. Yep. All right. Here we go. What is the name? of the feline member of the primary Strange Light workshop team featured prominently in Wicked Ways. Is it like men in black? They're like they're like teams of them that cruise around like as agents. Is that with the that with the Strange Light? 
I, workshop you, teams are like. I, I'll admit, I thought there was only the one. Yeah. And that, I, I found out this yeah. morning from <laughs> those CFACs that, that there is a primary. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So unless we're just kind of splitting hairs and going, well, only one is mm. clearly primary, uh, there must be multiple strange light teams. All right, so the question again is, what is the name of the feline member of the Strange Light Workshop team, which was featured prominently in Wicked Ways? Uh, couple, couple. Nine OJ says Artemis. Got some answers coming out. You know, that, I really like this shield a lot. By the way, I really like all the like all the gradients that it's that's proceeding mm -hmm. through, as it were. Oh, man, Riker's Iron Man. He hasn't read it yet. Maybe you should. Like, maybe you should like turn off your your earphones. We don't want to. Spoiler alert. Yeah, no, no Google cheating. Patrick yeah. Augustine says Sergeant <coughs> Kitty Face. I mean, that's as good of an answer as any. Really. Sure. I will say that. Uh, uh, oh, is it Onino oh, oh, Nino J? Yeah. How do you say? You said it in. Oh, Nino anyway, J. No. Anyways, close, but not quite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Artemis, close, but not quite. Oh, okay. So Doug Seacat says in Twitch chat that we showed a second team in the No Quarter Prime Adventure. So there are, are there are in fact a a wide number of uh, Strange Light Workshop teams. Sure. Okay. So how 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 yellow do you think this will the shield will get, or do you think you're going to be kind of more in this like yellow, orangey, burnt umber kind of? I mean, it, it kind of depends on umbers, how how, how far I want to push it, right? I think I'm going to end up going a little bit more yellow. Yeah, it looks good though. It looks um, really good. I, I do really like how the shield's coming out. Yeah, it but, looks, um, looks real good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, like this is really fast, right? Like this took yeah, it's like five minutes basically, like, mm -hmm. if that. <clears throat> Man, the, the face is creepy too. Look at like the uh, on the horse with like the teeth and stuff, and like mm -hmm. the skeletal. You know, I couldn't see, even see that before. I'm yeah, just I, I, me too. Time. Yeah, kind of blend into the mane. It's like it's like a horrifying Halloween horse thing. <laughs> I mean, and obviously that's what you know they're going for. But seriously, well, where do they get this thing? This is a, this is a nightmare show of a weird rocking horse with like a real skeletal horse head on it. Ugh. Gemini, Bob, Newsarak with artists, Sergeant Kitty Face. All right, should we should we drop some some fat answers on them here? Yeah, but before that, uh, Nick Prunita says hi, Jordan. Glad to see you're back safe from LVO. He didn't make it back safe. He's dead. He's a ghost right now. I'm I'm in fact a ghost. Melemony yeah. Melemony says Peter. Peter. All right, are we ready to? Yeah, let's uh, give an answer here. Answer. Hold on. This was a tough one. Apparently, this was a. So the answer is, and I believe one person got this, the answer is Artis. Artis. Uh, named after one of Kane's moons. Ooh. So named after one of, how many, Doug, hit me up, how many moons does Kane have that, is this like a Tatooine situation? There's two of them, Luke Skywalker, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's like what, seven of them. It's just like, wait, what planet's got all the moons in our solar system? That would be, uh, it's that would be some really whacked Jupiter, out weather. Right? If, yeah, uh, if it had that many moons, I don't even know what two moons would do. It does three moons? Three moons. Wow. It's like so. How Doug? How how do how do three moons affect the weather on Kane? It's very temperate. I mean, it's very <laughs> it's a very crazy place. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Augustine in Facebook. Uh, Basically asking what uh, what were you planning for the horse's eyes? He was wondering if you're going to do a purple glowing eyes. Um, sorry, I'm focusing on this line real quick. Oh no, you're you're you we, um, we good. So, I mean, you should definitely have some big glowing eyes. Well, I guess yeah, we can get to that I later. I think I'm gonna do tie it back to your teal. other. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be teal eyes if I do the magenta hair, and I'll probably reverse it on the other, the other one. Doug C. Cat says that three moons means that there's nasty tides. I guess it makes sense, like. Why like piracy is so rampant? Like it's danger. It's not only is it just dangerous to go out on the ocean mm -hmm. because of pirates. It's dangerous because like the moons are constantly 
like making sailing difficult, mm -hmm. right? I could see that being a, a good excuse, though. Like, because Doug mentions here that most most people just don't. Yeah, talk exactly. Scared, so, but you're like, no, no, I, I don't want to go out today because because tides. Because not, I'm not, I'm not afraid of pirates. Yeah, just yeah, moons. Interesting. That's super cool. Thank you for your sea facts. Thank you, Doug. I love the sea facts. Sea fact. Need strange light minis. That'd be cool. I've actually never read it. I should go uh, read Wicked Ways now. I'm, I'm kind of am interested in the the strange light. I believe there's an audio book. I don't do audio books. Audio book. I just read ways. books. I just read every night before I go to bed. It's like my ritual. Read for half an hour, read a chapter or two of whatever book I'm reading. I read approximately one and a half pages before I go to bed because I can no longer keep awake when I read. I used to like reading at night, and now it just puts me right to sleep. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of why I do it, too. And I usually, yeah, sometimes I'll get a page and a half in two pages in and put the book down and go to sleep. Sometimes I'll, I'll read for an hour. I'll listen to Like if I'm having a hard time going to sleep, I definitely will listen to some audiobooks <clears throat> or listen to an audiobook. And audible is great for that. Cause they actually have a, a sleep timer oh, on, interesting. on the app. So you can just set it for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. I think I've also it'll... just been like psychologically <clears throat> scarred by audiobooks. My wife is a big Harry Potter nerd. And she oh yeah. Just she just listens to literally constantly. listens to, Harry Potter, on, the entire series on repeat every day wow. of my life. <laughs> so she wakes up in the morning, and we have a couple different uh, Alexas, right? Uh -huh. uh, Amazon Alexas. We have one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom. Uh, and so this is just following her around the house, this old British guy pretending to be Hermione <laughs> or something. And it's just, it is, it, it is nonstop. It is just a part of my life. <laughs> So, just, oh, Harry Potter this, blah, blah, blah. This is, this is actually not an exaggeration. Yeah, no. He is 100% being truthful right now. So is, that the, is that where you get to, like, uh, you get to bust out all the uh, Harry Potter facts constantly without actually liking Harry Potter? Like, I mean, she's like working on, like, a... lots of stuff? <sighs> no. She's working, like, I'm actually reading the, rereading the books now for the first time in a long time, and she's working on, like, a trivia contest for Mox to do, like, a Harry Potter trivia night. Okay. And she keeps hitting me with questions for the books I just read, and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> let's see. Let's, Doug's got some some hot sea facts in chat. I'm going to hit read this one for for all of our listeners these out are, there. These are radio free sea facts. Yeah. These aren't the you paid for yeah. sea <laughs> facts we give you. Yeah. Uh, the longest night is more of a calendar adjustment like leap year. But at one point in early drafts, uh, when so when Doug was when they were when they were creating kind of the fiction and the lore, they tied it to being when all the moons were dark. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, turns out there were some timing issues with that. Oh, probably because they were trying to like kind of figure out the cosmology of mm -hmm. how things work. Uh, so they made it. It's it's an especially bad omen to have longest night when the moons are dark. Cool. Look at this. This is like some some deep cuts into OG War Machine lore. Yeah, so if you're having your uh, IKRPG game, make it uh, a little scarier, a little more. Or you could have like a grim little one where it's like doomsy. Yeah, where it all happens. The where longest it's like, night when the moons are yeah, dark. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, so this, I'm, the shield looks really good. Yeah, I'm going all the way up to Cygnus Yellow now for this okay. shield. Oh, oh, yeah, I like get, it. Let me I like it a, a lot. Let me get a new color on here. <laughs> And then uh, we're coming up. We're coming up on the hour, oh. so that means that we probably want to start thinking about showing off your. Yeah, why don't we like kind of finish yeah, up this? I'll let this... Jordan decide if if chat participated enough. Oh yeah, in our C facts. Of course they did. C fact. No, we should just be like, no, screw you guys, and just like turn off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, chat. We're out of here. We just like cut the stream and go to Jimmy John's. So do you think this is as high as you want to take the shield color, or do you think yeah. you might even do, like, a highlight of something? Now, I, a common thing I've seen painters mention, even this is definitely with relation to, like, yellow, is highlighting all the way up to, like, white sometimes. I mean, you, you definitely can. Um... Just from, like, the angle that you are holding the model with the lights, mm -hmm. it looks, from, like, our perspective viewing the screen, that, like, the um, rivets 
at certain angles look like they're already highlighted in white because of how you have the shading and stuff in there. Yeah, that's that's definitely like right there around right that corner. The, Do you the see that reflection of of the light hitting it? But that's what's like so cool um, about it, right? Is it yeah. looks like you've painted it white or highlighted it white, but so it's just naturally happening. If I wanted it to look like non-metallic gold, I would highlight mm -hmm. further. Oh man, you should have done a chrome shield. And you do the cool chrome reflection. No, that, that that's would... awful. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No, it'd be like uh, uh, the mirror shield from. Uh, remember the original? Uh, <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. I forgot what the movie's name is. Um, do you know, everyone knows what I'm talking about. I don't know. The, the... With Medusa. Clash of the Titans. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is really bugging me. This was really, really bothering me. I was talking about the original, obviously, with a little clockwork like an owl. See, Melemony. I listen to the OST of Elite Dangerous to Sleep sometimes. That's cool. I used to uh, to go to sleep. I used to put on my headphones um, and listen to like pretty heavy rock, mm. like Tool. It's always a big, big one to go to sleep to, but loud, not oh, quiet, weird. like still way up, which my wife never appreciated. Uh, but it was always kind of cool because some of that music goes up and down. So you would, I would fall asleep eventually, and then. Tool would have these like quiet moments, mm -hmm. and you just wake up to the creepiest sounds and the creepiest music, or just all of a sudden be jarred out. I'm pretty sure, like, every day from 20 to 30, I had like a fan in my room blowing yeah. on me. I'm pretty sure everyone does that, though, right? <laughs> uh, I don't have one now uh, because I have like an air conditioner and stuff. You know, I'm an adult, so right? I have, <laughs> I have, yeah, uh, adult things, yeah, I have adult toys. <laughs> Uh, but wow, I, I have just a couch and a serving yeah, tray. I, sorry, I apologize. I just realized what I meant by saying adult. <laughs> what I really meant to say is I have adult money that I can use to spend to buy nice adult things. Wow. Okay, let me just reel that one back in real quick. But uh, but I've been doing the like white noise, like rain or shower yeah. sounds uh, a little bit recently because I'm a little bit of a light sleeper, and I think part of that is because I'm used to having that white noise um, in the background. Yeah. Um, and not having that for a long time meant that. Every little thing woke me up. So now I have, I've been doing like the, like you get apps on your phone, have shower noises or thunder, right? When uh, my daughter was little, we used to, she used to wake up in the middle of the night and I'd just carry her around at 3 a.m. And we had the vacuum Thanks for really selling a uh, parenthood yeah, to me. Yeah, it's great. Jeez. Yeah, thanks, sounds, for, sounds, thanks for sounds selling awesome. Awesome. Nightly <laughs> at 3 a.m. But we would just leave the vacuum, the upright vacuum cleaner, out and plugged in. And the first thing that would happen is 3 a.m. You know, grab the grab the kid and then just flip on the vacuum cleaner because that, that loud, constant white noise. Yeah. Interesting. Put her right to sleep. All right. It is 1059. How are you feeling on that shield So, there? Jordan, when you're at a good, good. spot. We wanna, I'm just going to show some of, these, uh, some of these really bright tings real quick mm -hmm. that Jeff also, was talking about. I also want to point out and revisit what we were saying. Take it, show, them, show them the shield. Show them a good shot of the shield. Look at how little actual yellow paint there yeah, is on the bodied. shield compared to the other colors, and it still reads as being yellow. Mm -hmm. God, it's so cool. It looks so good. It's pretty dark in here, too. I love like, it. It's... Um, is there a way to, to brighten this up? Yeah, there's a little knob up uh, on the light above the, the, your head. You know what? This turn, possibly turn can't go right. wrong. This one? Yeah. Uh, Boom. First try. Literally expect this whole thing to come crashing <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> so that's, that, that'll give you a better look at it, right? So that that's your, your good old yellow shield. And then we can even take it a little further. Do a little bit of this. All right, Riker's iron's getting antsy for our surprise. I'm just like sorry. There's like dead, dead, dead space because I was entranced by the shield. And sorry, what color was this, Jordan? I was busy futzing around. Uh, this is Mara white mixed with uh, Cygnus yellow. I'm not changing it because yeah, it great. makes you giggle every it's, time. It's so good. It's, 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 I, and the funny thing is, I'm not even like I don't even have like a headphone, so I don't even hear it. So I hear it. I hear it from like Jordan's screen, and I go bloop. <laughs> and that just makes it better. It's like poopy, <laughs> poopy. 
It always makes me giggle. Yeah, I like the shield. I, I, now, I think now in hindsight, putting like freehanding something on there would probably take away, I think, from the overall effect. Yes. So, I mean, you could definitely like go in and, and do some freehand on there, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of like it as is. No, I agree. I don't even necessarily think. I don't even know what you would put on there. Um, the only other thing I could think of is just doing some some real, real bright little. Pure white. Just get a little. All right, so we are taking it up to white. Yeah. We took it all the way up. Taking, taking it all the way up. Make it really bright. Yeah, just right. Oh, yeah. Right there. We're exactly where the light's hitting it. See how interesting that is? Mm -hmm. I also like seeing the progression on Jordan's thumb of like all the yellows we went through. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to, uh, when he comes in with uh, painted yeah, fingers, we're going like to do that. his, mm -hmm. we're going to do the Jordan trivia. What was I painting? So yeah, that's a, it's a quick, effective yellow shield. 